Welcome to CSWA tutorial number four, Apply Mates that Represent Model Behavior. Here is a sample assembly from the CSWA sample exam. Let's take a look at the first component, the machine bracket. The machine bracket was created in a single sketch for an extruded thin feature on the front plane. The sketch is created on the front plane with two equal sides and a fillet radius then extruded mid-plane to build symmetry into the first feature. The extruded cut features, the two holes, now can be located with the center point coincident with the front plane. No dimensions are required in the vertical direction. So what happens when we insert this component into a new assembly? If you click OK to begin the assembly, the first component is fixed to the origin. Right-click Float. Now the component can rotate. Select Rotate Component. View the triad. Select by delta XYZ and rotate 90 degrees about the Y axis. Click Apply. Be certain to fix the component. Right click on the machine bracket in the Feature Manager. Click Fixed. Now the component cannot translate or rotate. You want to make certain that your first component is fixed in the assembly. Hold the control key down and drag the machine bracket into the graphics window. This will quickly make copies of the machine bracket. Select Insert Components, requiring other components not open. I just typed the first letter of the word PIN and PIN shows up in my short display. The PIN is free to translate and rotate and requires mates. Select the cylindrical face of the pin, select the cylindrical face of the hole, right click mate. Concentric is selected by default, click OK. Click the flat face of the pin, click the flat face of the bracket. Coincident is selected by default, click OK. You do not require a third mate to fully fix the pin. To save time, you can also use smart mates. Hold the Alt key down, select the cylindrical edge of the pin. Drag to the cylindrical edge of the bracket. A coincident and a concentric smart mate are created. Two mates for one click and drag with the Alt key. Smart mates can save you time, but they require practice before you take the CSWA exam. Select Rotate Component to position the component approximately before mating. Most of the components used in the CSWA assembly require simple geometry, but there is usually a feature like a small cut or hole that will orient and make differences in calculating mass properties. You are required to understand standardized mates such as distance, angle, coincident, concentric. To create an angle mate, two faces or edges are required. Select Mate from the Assembly Toolbar. Click the narrow face of the second bracket. Click the narrow face of the first bracket. Coincident is selected by default. You have to select on Angle. Enter an angle, in this case 30 degrees. You can also select the supplement of the angle by changing Flip Direction box. Check the Flip Direction box to change the orientation. There are also Mate Alignment options that will give you different values for the inserted angle dimension. For more information on the CSWA, go to SolidWorks.com CSWA. Thank you.